Hey, what's up, guys? It's Skate Dude, and I'm coming at you with an iPod Touch 4th Generation review. When you unlock the iPod, what you'll first see is the, your home screen, which consists of apps and different things that you're going to buy, you know, um, apps that you, games that you can play. So the first thing that I'm going to start off here with is probably the most known one for now, FaceTime. FaceTime is like Skype. It allows you to call, pe call other people with face-to-face -face interaction, and it lets you like it lets you talk to them, which is you know awesome. It, it lets you see them see them face to face. Say they're in like India or on a business trip to Japan, and you're in, back in America or so wherever you live, and you want to see their face. Basically, that allows you to do that. So yeah. Next thing that you'll see is the camera. There are two cameras on this iPod. One, I'm pretty sure the front one that you can that sees your face is one and a half megapixels, and the front one is five megapixels. Not as good as the 4S, is eight megapixels, but still pretty good. The good thing is if you keep pressing the sh the ca capture button, it'll capture a lot of frames very fast. You can also do, um, there's also options and a button to switch the uh, the cameras. There's also an option to choose a video camera mode, which is great, so then you can record video. Alright, next app. The next app that I'm going to do is Reminders. Reminders allows you to uh, rem basically remind you of things. You can, you can set a reminder to say, oh, I need to buy groceries today, right? So you set a reminder to buy groceries today, buy milk, eggs, whatever, and it reminds you that your iPhone will buzz or your iPod will buzz, and it'll say, oh, you need, you need to do this and this, which is great because that you know, reminds you. Um, you can check it off if you don't want it to remind you anymore, or you can set it to a specific date, where it will, it will, it will like, it will do every that every day that that date goes, it'll remind you. You can also scroll sideways basically, and you can check between completed uh, reminders and com and reminders that are not so complete basically. <laughs> Next thing we're gonna go on to is Game Center. Game Center, a lot of people use this. This is basically like the Facebook of gaming. It allows you to check your stats, check your achievements, check your friends, what your friends are doing. You can, you can see, oh, I knew, what achievements do I have in this game? What achievements do I have in that game? It's basically great because you can do, you know, you can do, you can see, oh, I need to get this, this, and this achievement. I can see what do I have to do for this achievement, what do I have to do for this one. Um, you can see your global, um, global world score which is also awesome because you see, oh, this guy's beating me, I need to get this much rank, or this guy's beating me in this game, I need to get this much rank. It shows every game that is enabled with Game Center in your iPod, like Angry Birds, say, for example, as I use here. It'll allow it, Angry Birds, you know, I can see the achievements, I can see the global world scores. It, it, I can track all my progress. It's pretty amazing. It's a pretty amazing uh, software, or not software, app. It also allows you to update your status, basically like your profile, and that profile will basically allow you to, you know, oh, I'm doing this and this, and I'm doing this and this. That's all for Game Center. Next we have the audio memo, I guess you can call it, or audio um, recorder. It allows you, I'm pretty sure this is new, before I say anything else, I'm pretty sure this is new in the, this version of the iPod because it has the microphone, but... Um, I mean, you could have used it with the headphones with the mic enabled, but this is great because you can save a voice memo and you can say, oh, I need to get milk and eggs for myself instead of having to read something like a reminder. You can say, oh, I need to do this and this for my voice message, or I can do this and this. And as you can see, I'm tapping the screen because I am not that smart. Yeah, that's basically all there is for memos. So, next thing, messaging. This is new in iOS 5.0 because... Oh, I really don't know why. I mean, they've had an iPhone's messaging, but it's new to iPod Touch because now you can text your friends that have this. You can text them. You can say you can without having to use a phone or some kind of carrier like Verizon or AT and T, for example. It a lot you. It's given you a lot more freedom. If you have, as long as you have Wi-Fi network around you, you can text anyone who has the same software who who can use messaging, say on an iPhone or on another iPod Touch, that which is amazing because you I, I use this a lot I mean I have a phone and I text a lot but this is also great because you know it, it's an iPhone most people are used to texting on an iPhone and it makes things a lot easier for them plus uh, their friends may, maybe might have the iPod or something and it's also awesome because you can import your contacts to it you can have contacts say imported to it so that's all there is for messaging right now I'm gonna go on to the gaming portion of this 
and that portion is the dual core A5 or A4 graphic chips. I don't exactly remember. You can check the website or you can check the description below, which is great. It's ultra responsive system, which as you can see, I'm playing Angry Birds. The each little flick is smooth, you know, with a better processor. It's got the it's faster speeds, better graphics for more graphics intensive games, and that that require the hardware, you know, that they need because that old old iPods don't have. And then, like, say, this game, Angry Birds, I mean, it's not so hardware intensive, but say, like, another game like mm, Temple Run, as I'm saying right now, Temple Run is a, a pretty good game. It's got, it's got highly detailed graphics, I guess you could say. It, it requires a lot more, like, I guess you could say CPU acceleration, but I mean, you know, it, the, this makes for faster, you know, less laggy iPod is in Safari and stuff goes faster, so, yeah, you know. Uh, things will go faster. Your mail will load faster, and as you can, yeah, I'm running out of things to say. So I guess you can say this over, overall. This is a great iPod to buy. It's a great buy, and I buy it. I bought it. So yeah. If if you ask me, I would definitely buy this. I. I would say buy this. It's great purchase to have. I use it all the time. So yeah, this has been Skate Tube. Peace out.